We collected the entire AL Central, all no money spent. And if you've been keeping up with No My Spent series, you know, that's the entire American League done. But we're not going to talk about that until the next episode. For now, we're going to talk about the AL Central, what cards we get out of this, and give them a little bit of a debut in Ranked. I think it's all No Money Spent, all of these collections, all of the AL now. But here we got to talk about the AL Central and where I think it stands in comparison to that AL East and AL West. Because honestly... Overall, I think it's a weaker division for the awards you get. I mean, you get Hal Newhauser, who's using an 81 gold starter on the team if you're completing collections. Probably not anyone. Justin Morneau seems like maybe a bench bet. Maybe. Eric Hosmer. First baseman without power like this. Ugh. Jim Tomey actually seems like a solid bet. And then Ray Durham actually could be a pretty good second base option. And Grady Sizemore is a respectable outfielder. Like, he's a good one. But I'm going to be real. This is definitely the lowest of the three collection awards we've done to rid of the divisions. AL East, I think, is really good because you get a bunch of really solid. You get a couple nice relievers. You get Gary Sanchez, who could be a great catcher. And Kevin Euclid, who actually could be a good third baseman for you. And in the AL West, obviously, you get Troy Gloss, Keuchel, and Napoli, who could be a nice catcher. So I feel like this is the lowest of them all. I mean, Ray Durham's really the main card I could see people really using, and maybe Jim Tomey. So we're going to hop on in. I threw them on a the team with my other God Squad type players. This is what the team looks like for this game. We, Eric Hosmer is not even on the team and honestly, probably deservingly so, but I probably should throw him on there for the sake of it as a bench bet. Someone has to take it, the, the bench because we only have one first baseman and it's gonna be Eric Hosmer. So let's hop on in. We're not touching Hal Newhouse. You thought I'd start him. We're just gonna start Jacob DeGrom and hopefully not lose brain cells as we're crawling towards World Series and ranked. Yay. Good start. I will say there is zero shot. Like there may be one person who comments in this video or says in Twitch chat that I need to start Hal Newhauser and it's just not happening. Ah, think of that PCI on it. We might have some warming up to do. He threw a 3-0 fastball right down the heart of the plate and I blew it. I blew it. Oh, he threw it at Kudya. How dare you? You fight him. Fight him like Nolan Arenado. Thank you. Challenge him. Should, should not have challenged him. Should, should not have thrown a force team in the zone. Should have thrown a pitch off the plate. I feel like I always give up homers to Lindor cards. That works. I mean, one run isn't going to be nothing, you know? Well, one run is not a concern. At least I don't think so. Okay. Maybe a little bit more worried after that swing. Oh, stop it. Stop it. We're good, we're good, we're good, right, right, right? It did not fool him. It was not even close. Oh, stop. Stop with these little dinky little hits. That is off the plate. That pitch is not in the zone. He extended his arms beyond the strike zone and still hit that out. I can't buy a hit for the life of me right now. This is terrible. We got to pull the Grom. We got to pull the Grom. Like, geez, dude, these foul balls, these little dinky hits. Oh, great heavens, dude. Something's got to turn our way at some point here. I don't know what type of Mets luck was brought upon us, but not good luck, that's for sure. No, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know if that checks out. Grady Sizemore. Thank you. There's one. Apparently, he's got to not hit PCI in the ball. See? Just hit that corner PCI. That's all we need to do. Yes. There we go. 
There we go. We're getting some... We're getting hits. We're getting hits. A few moments later. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. I try to do too much there. I try to do way too much there. That was bad. That was bad. All right. Let me... Let me score this run. Okay. I, I, I... This is karma after the first couple innings. So I will take it. Thank you. Get out of here, baseball. You went to that same exact pitch sequence in Joe Nathan. That ball needs to be a hit, at least. Right? No? Okay? No? We're good? That's okay? This game, we definitely have not gotten rewarded. This has been one of those games where it just feels like we cannot buy a hit. It has been the story of this game, that is for sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Freaking Francisco Lindor. All right. Dibble got through the inning. We've found a way to settle down my opponent, but now we just need that big inning. We just need that big inning. This is the test right here for the AL Central boys. Ray Durham, who's not done anything this game. Just don't catch it. That's all. The only thing I ask is just don't catch it. Thank you. He almost did. He almost had the audacity to catch that. God, man. I just don't know what's going on with my timing. Like, just like, it's, I don't know what's going on with my swing time. I'm late on an inside slider there. And I was just early on everything. Ooh, hater. Okay. Bro, he's going to so get me out, though. I know that's not a good PCI, but that ball is hit hard, and it goes right at the second baseman. Like, that's what we've been dealing with all game, just freaking hard hit outs. All game. This is what I'm not going to lie. I'm not happy at the outcome of this game right now. That is for sure. I'm definitely not happy at the outcome of this game. That's for sure. What it feels like right now. My opponent's not playing badly, but like, I just feel like I can't buy a hit for the life of me. Really? He's squaring up a lot of balls. Good pitch, by the way. Let's just get this out. Let's just get this out. That's all we need. See, like, how? I, 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 he's, he's, he's very late on that, and that ball's at his head. He still fouls it off. That's crazy, dude. Freaking nuts. This is the theme of the game. Can't set my opponent down. And it has eventually hurt us in a lot of these scenarios. We're good. Not worrying the slightest. Okay. Bro. I don't know, dude. Just like, I know we're on Hall of Fame here. That, that, these breaking balls this game feel like they're coming in really slow. Like, absurdly slow. And he swings and misses. I don't, I don't freaking get it. What? And then a good timing. Okay. I just don't know anymore. That was a horrific game. A horrific game. GD's my opponent. Like he crushed it, but I really feel like I couldn't buy a hit for the life of me. That was way worse than any game I played the entire season. 2,000 years later. Well, I'm going to be real with you all. Those AL Central cards kind of pooped the bed. I mean, Grady Sizemore got a home run, which was kind of neat. But I don't think the players did a single thing important or valuable to the game other than that. They get a hit with Ray Durham, I don't think. Not our game. But listen, that is okay. If that is going to be our worst game we've had so far in the year, 20-ish games into the season, that is okay. If you all enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Next video, like I mentioned, we will be debuting Frank Thomas since we got the American League done. So make sure you are subbed to check out that. Appreciate you watching. See you all again on the next one. Deuces. Deuces.